हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू एनजी क्लासेस यूट्यूब चैनल फॉर अ वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज इन कंट्रोल सिस्टम्स इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी शैल कंसीडर अ न्यूमेरिकल फाइंड सी ऑफ एस डिवाइडेड बाय आर ऑफ एस बाय मैस एंड गेन फॉर्मूला एंड दिस इज दिस इज हाउ द गिवन सिग्नल फ्लोग्राफ लुक्स लाइक वेर इन आर ऑफ एस इज द इनपुट सी ऑफ एस इज द आउटपुट आई नीड टू फाइंड द ट्रांसफर फंक्शन सी ऑफ एस डिवाइडेड बाई आर ऑफ एस फॉर दिस आई नीड टू यूज the masson's gain formula let me consider the solution now uh, first thing is what is the masson's gain formula so let me write that thing first masson's gain formula so there is already a formula to find uh, the transfer function using masson he has already given the transfer function for that so which is transfer function is equal to summation k k is the variable then inside we have tk delta k divided by there is delta so this is the formula masson's gain formula so what is k over here k is the number of forward paths so uh, let me first write number of forward paths number of forward path which has been indicated using the letter k so in this case how many forward paths are there for this i need to look at this uh, signal flow graph so starting from here g1 g5 g6 g7 g8 so this forward path i can consider the first to forward path is that fine similarly there is g1 g2 g3 g4 g8 so this i can consider as the second forward path is that okay so that means there are two forward paths in general so let me write here number of forward paths how many forward paths i have so i found it as two forward paths so using that i can expand this uh, summation i can expand this uh, formula k takes the value of 2 here so it is uh, t1 delta 1 plus t2 delta 2 so this is how it gets expanded that gets divided by delta so this would be the masson's gain formula in this numerical so now i need to find what is t1 what is the t2 what is delta 1 what is delta 2 and finally what is delta if i find all these things and apply in this and substitute in this uh, expression i would get the transfer function c of s divided by r of s so first i need to find therefore what is t1 t1 is the first forward path so what did i say that so which was G one, G five, G six, G seven, G eight. So that would be the first forward path gain. So I can write it as G one into G five, G six, G seven, and then there is G eight. G one, G five, G six, G seven, G eight. so that is the first forward path gain similarly i have the second forward path that is t2 so t2 i can write it as so what is that it starts with the g1 then i have g2 then i have g3 then there is g4 and finally there is g8 so this is the second forward path gain so once this is the individual forward paths are found then i can uh, go on finding the rest of the things i also need to find individual feedback loops and their gains so let me find that individual so let me write individual feedback loops individual feedback loops and their gains and their gains are so how many individual feedback loops are there so if i look here g6 and with minus h6 this makes the first to feedback loop so i can call this as one feedback loop and another feedback loop g3 with minus h3 make the second feedback loop 
so let me uh, consider those things individual feedback loops the first one i said with respect to g6 and minus h6 so let me consider over here yes this was the gain g6 and at the feedback i have minus h6 so this i'm calling it as loop 1 l1 l1 is equal to i said i'm going to get minus g6 into h6 so this is the first feedback loop and that is the gain is minus g6 h6 similarly i need to consider the second feedback loop which is g3 with minus h3 so that i need to consider it over here yes this is g3 and at the feedback i have minus h3 so this i am calling it as the second feedback loop and this has the gain minus g3 into h3 so likewise i get the two individual feedback loops and their gains so then i need to identify uh, the two non touching loops so i said l1 and l2 so this is so let me consider this is l1 and this is l2 these are the two loops which are non touching is that right so i need to uh, write again here l1 and l2 are two non touching loops so let me write l1 and l2 are two non touching loops non touching loops correct so this is the one conclusion so once this is done i can write the expression i can write the value for delta which is equal to 1 minus individual feedback loops which are l1 sum of individual feedback loops so it is 1 minus sum of individual feedback loops then plus into bracket the product of two non touching loops so here i have l1 l2 are the two non touching loops so this formula would continue with three non touching loops so here there is no question of three non touching uh, loops hence i would stop here so i need to substitute the values here 1 minus what is l1 and l2 are the individual feedback loops so minus and minus would become plus so it becomes g6 h6 plus then i have g3 and h3 correct then i have plus l1 into l2 so i need to uh, these are the two non touching loops i need to multiply them so ultimately i would get g3 g6 and then there is h3 h6 correct so this is done so now i need to find in this expression if i look i already find what is t1 what is t2 and i got delta also now i need to find delta 1 and delta 2 so for that i need to consider first for for the first transfer first uh, forward path for t1 which loop is non touching i need to find i write for t1 l2 is non touching so i said for t1 what is t1 so let me come over here this is this was the t1 and for this which loop is non touching this loop is non touching correct yes let me go back now and consider for t1 l2 is non touching therefore what i can write therefore delta 1 is equal to delta 1 i would write is equal to 1 minus which loop is non touching that is l2 so what is that so i would get this as 1 minus l2 l2 is nothing but minus g3 h3 so this becomes 1 plus g3 h3 so this would be the expression for delta 1 similarly i need to find for t2 which loop is non touching so if i look over here this was t2 correct for t2 this loop is non touching 
so that i need to write that so let me come over here for t2 for the second forward path t2 i said l1 is non touching l1 is non touching once that is done i can write the expression for delta 2 therefore delta 2 is equal to it is 1 minus l1 is non touching 1 minus l1 so what would that become 1 minus of minus plus g6 h6 so this would be the expression for delta 2 so in the uh, formula for transfer function i found all the uh, all the values so now i can find the transfer function c of s divided by r of s therefore the transfer function is equal to c of s divided by r of s so what is that equal to the first i think i have t1 into delta 1 so if i look over here this is the formula t1 into delta 1 plus t2 into delta 2 divided by delta so what is t1 into delta 1 t1 is the first forward path into delta 1 so this i need to multiply with so t1 is g1 g5 g6 g7 g8 this gets multiplied with delta 1 which is 1 plus g3 h3 correct plus t2 into delta 2 t2 is the second forward path which is g1 g2 g3 then i have g4 and g8 so this is the second forward path for this that gets multiplied with delta 2 which is 1 plus g6 into h6 so this is what is known as uh, the thing at the numerator so this entire thing gets divided by with what does this get divided by with it gets divided by with r of s uh, divided by delta what is delta delta i have already found so if i go up and check yes this is the expression for delta so that i need to write in the denominator so which is 1 plus g6 h6 plus g3 h3 plus multiplication of these things g3 g6 h3 h6 so ultimately this is the equation for the transfer function using masson's gain formula so i have considered this numerical and explained everything step by step i hope you people have understood if there are still any doubts please let me know them onto the comment section and i am happy to answer those doubts thank you so much for watching